Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I am the author of Toxic Electricity. I'm here today to have a look at inverter systems for solar power systems. Um, this particular inverter system is producing power into the grid right now and we actually have almost 800 watts going into the grid through this inverter right now. And what that does is it actually deforms the magnetic field. And here we have a meter was set on 0 to 100 milligauss on the magnetic range. And we can see that we actually have about 3 milligauss in this area right now. So let's see what happens when we approach the system. So we can see that when we get near to the system, the field starts to go up. And not only does it start to go up, but it starts to get this really weird flickering on the field. So that means the fields are pulsating. And it's been very well established that pulsating fields are very, very harmful to human health, and particularly human mental health. And these are very high-powered pulsating magnetic fields that you find around these systems. And as far as I know, the solar industry has not done any research on these fields. In fact, I've never ever seen or read any articles in the solar magazines that document the solar industry that talks about these effects. But it is extensively documented by independent authors. And if you take a look around at the independent authors who work with electromagnetic fields, you'll find that there's a whole bunch of literature that says these fields are indeed exceedingly harmful to mental health. And in particular, it has been noticed that electricians, electronic engineers, welders, and radio operators are all being affected by their equipment. And the disease rates regarding brain disease are very high in those members of the population. So for that reason, you need to take care around these fields and you should limit your time in these areas. Uh, probably the most important health technique to use is your common sense, and that is you should have a meter like this if you're working with this equipment, and you should be aware that these systems are indeed putting out high levels of magnetic fields and also high levels of pulsating magnetic fields. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.